Hello and welcome to the Quad Life. Well, uh, quite a while back I was asked what are muscle spasms and why do they happen? And it's kind of a confusing or complicated thing to explain, but I'm going to give it a try. Well, I have a spinal cord injury at the second and third level of my neck. And everything below that point, all my nerves are intact. But since the spinal cord is like a wire, it means that even though the signals um, happen below my point of injury, they don't get all the way up to my head. So, in the case of any kind of stimulation, my nerves still feel them and react. So, like, if you would rub the bottom of my feet, let's say, well, most people have ticklish feet. And I'm not any different. So, if you uh, rub my feet, they twitch and uh, jump and react. I don't feel any of it, but that's what happens. So, like, I'm on the bike here, and there are electrodes on my legs that are giving the muscles a stimulation, and it kind of does a uh, controlled reaction for muscle spasms that way. So that, like, a couple days ago, my legs did um, eight and a half minutes on their own with stimulation of doing biking. That is part of a controlled muscle spasm. And that our technology nowadays can use these things for good. And muscle spasms also can help with circulation and keeping up muscle tone, especially like this. But what are they? So as I've seen a little bit on other videos, it is involuntary movement of my arms or legs or both. I also have it that my neck and back can get stiff and I can only move my eyes like this. But they happen when, again, there's any kind of stimulation. So someone will touch my limbs or I drive over any kind of bumps. Again, it's something that my body is feeling. And that is how it reacts. Other times, um, just random nerve firings happen as well. Or um, some also say that buildup of lactic acid in muscles from them being inactive will cause muscle spasms that uh, the limbs will move on their own. So, like when someone has recently had a spinal cord injury and a family member will see the person's arms or legs moving, they may think that they're getting control back because it looks like the movement might be controlled by the person. But, unfortunately, that's not the case. It's something that I have no control over. And it's quite often kind of annoying, actually. But I hope that uh, gives a little bit of an explanation. Um, thankfully, I don't have any um, major side effects from muscle spasms. A lot of people have nerve pain from it. And therefore take a lot of medication mm. in order to reduce them, to reduce pain. Mm. Thankfully, I do not have that response. 
and for me it's just an annoyance. Um, I do take a lot of medication to um, reduce them so I can function a little bit easier and I don't get the stuffing out of my caregivers, which they do appreciate. And this biking helps with it as well. So, um, hopefully that is some of an explanation. Uh, is that it's kind of hard to explain. And I've looked online to try to uh, prepare for doing a video as well. And it looks like it kind of depends on who you find and uh, how they explain it. But muscle spasms are just basically involuntary movements that are caused by any kind of stimulation to the body or um, the body's response to not moving on its own for a while is the short version. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the Cloud Line. Bye for now.